Your database security, Murray's pants. Whatever, Sly, this is no laughing matter. I've checked, and there really is no way in except for the front entrance. I think there's only one option. The doorbell. Very funny. No, you're going to need a disguise. Get yourself a suit of armor from those guards. That's our way in. Roger that. Just call me Samurai Sly.
Sly, you got the helmet!
There, open the door. Hmm. A little short to be a commander, aren't you? Who are you? Why, I am Major Mugshot. Huh? Mugshot? I've never heard of you. Ha! Huh. You dare question me? Son, I've been a guard since you were just a squealing piglet. Wait until I tell the general about this. I hear he loves pork chops. Wait, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. Please, go right in. You might want to put on that armor before the guards spot you! That samurai armor should do the trick here. Ryoichi Cooper. I can't believe it. He's a legend. Cooper, are you okay? Your guards all seem to make very poor jokes. Come on, I'm not one of those bozos. I'm here to bust you out. The name's Sly. Ah, uh, I see. A fellow ninja. Very good. You will need to make your way to the Dragon Bridge to reach this cage. Hurry up! Okay, I'll be there soon. Just stay put. <laughs> very funny. You might want to put on that armor before the guards spot you! I must have read about him in the Thievius Raccoonus a million times.
now. Probably his biggest fan. Fly, I don't think you could break the lock on that gate. And even if you could, there's no time. Thanks, Bentley. How about some good news? Look around, Fly. One of these guards must have the key. See? That's more like it.
Hold on, Ryuichi. You won't be a prisoner much longer. I do not know you, but only a true Koopa could have reached this cage. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to alarm you, but my full name is Sly Cooper. Uh, I'm your relative... from the future. Do not worry, ninja are never alarmed. With all that has happened here lately, I believe you. Oh, oh, oh. Now perhaps you would open the cage so that we may escape certain death. Right, of course. After rescuing Ryuichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time for family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryuichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe, usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice, armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Well, we had found him, and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop.